Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, what? No guarantees? <laughs> ah, yes, your still new car is in the shop uh, again. Your once adorable toddler is now a raving, raging adolescent. That job you thought would be yours forever? Gone, gone, gone in this uncertain economy. And you, oh, you dream of the good old days when cars ran well, children obeyed, and jobs stayed put until you left. Really? Dream on. Life has never had more than one guarantee, i.e. death and clinging to the good old days, which, if you really stop and think about it, weren't all that good, is less and less possible in face of the ever-increasing pace of change. Much as we hate to face it, the bottom line is, there are no guarantees. People, cars, jobs, all change. Houses fall down, fortunes are made and lost in the day, what was a hot item on the market today is good for the recycler tomorrow. Yet all of us need safety and security, all of us need to feel that we are standing on terra firma, not shifting ground. The paradox is, the more change that is happening all around us, the more we need stability. The problem is not our need for safety and stability. The problem is where we look for that safety. Looking for safety in the permanence of a job, of a person always being a certain way, or even of your health being everlastingly good, is bound to lead to disappointment. Some if not all of these will, at one time or another, fail you. The secret to safety and stability lies within yourself, within your ability and willingness to respond to each and every situation as it occurs. You see, you may not be able to guarantee one single aspect of your life, but you can absolutely guarantee your willingness to respond fully and positively to whatever comes your way. Committing yourself in this way is what will give you the safety and stability we all require in order to live a full and satisfying life. So, how to respond positively? Well, first of all, breathe. <laughs> if you're panicking, I guarantee you're not breathing properly. So, breathe. Nice, long, slow breaths. Breathe again. And then, while you're breathing, assess the situation. Write down the specifics of what just happened and what the impact is on you. For example, my car is in the shop again. Well, I need to get it fixed and I need transportation in the meantime. Plus, I'm going to need money for both. Or, my child needs this surgery. Paying for it is a problem. Keep breathing. Because what comes next? Brainstorm alternatives. If you get stuck on seeing the damage or the need, you'll be overwhelmed and then you can't get past that. Instead, once you've noticed, okay, this is what I need, this is what happened, step away from it and write down any and all alternative solutions which occur to you, no matter how far-fetched. Ask a close friend or a family member to help you brainstorm. Don't censor yourself. Troll the web, do whatever you need, but keep coming up with ideas. And lastly, use your resources. You are not alone. There is help all around you, if only you're willing to look for it. Starting, of course, with those close to you, friends and family. Then think, think, think of all possible sources of help, all the way to government and other large public sector entities, charitable organizations, support groups. There are all sorts of help around everywhere. Call on friends or a group of friends to help you think of all the resources available to you. You are able to respond successfully to any situation in your life if you are willing to do so and to remember you are not alone. Your safety is grounded within yourself in your persistence, creativity, and willingness to call upon those resources, material and human, which are there for all of us. Now that's a real guarantee. Thank you for listening to Up and check out my new book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or 
take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.